our daily Bible reading for January 28th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14. Matthew, chapter 14, we'll be reading verses 22 through 36. Beginning in verse 22. Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat, by this time, was a long way from land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night he came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Gennesaret. And when the men of that place recognized him, they sent around to all the region and brought to him all who were sick and implored him that they might only touch the fringe of his garment. And as many as has touched it were made well. And some thoughts for today on our verses. Jesus here displays his mastery over even the elements of natural law itself, walking on water. The disciples let this get the best of them as their fear turns to superstition. Already worn by the wind and waves that were about to overwhelm them, the disciples may have fought these most of the night as Jesus comes in the fourth watch, early morning by now. Tired, scared, and worn out, their master comes to them on the water. It is at this point one of the most amazing human feats occurs. Peter beckons Jesus that if it is him, that he too be allowed to walk on water. Jesus allows a request and Peter does what none but the Savior has ever done. He too walks on water. But once again fear controls where faith could conquer. It was not the wind or the waves that would sink Peter. It was his lack of faith. Jesus uses this as a teaching moment and asks Peter, you of little faith, why did you doubt? In verse 31. I suppose that same question could be asked of all who through the ages let such things as this stand in their way of great advancements. Why did we doubt? Why is that little twinge that inside of us stops us from doing what we know by human standards to be difficult at best and impossible by most? It is the ones of faith that forge ahead, trusting that for all things are possible with God, as Mark 10, 27 tells us. Fear is natural, yet it is this fear we are to disregard and press forward in this life to accomplish the things set forth for those of faith. And a question of the day. What lessons can we learn from this event in Jesus and his disciples' lives? And finally, a thought to meditate on today. Look around you at the man-made structures in the course of the day, from those down to the smallest inventions, and contemplate what obstacles must have been overcome to accomplish these. Now, consider your spiritual goals in light of obstacles you must overcome. And those are our thoughts for today, January 28th.